Friends and followers, it's Josh from Magic Skateboard Media. We out here. We're gonna try this new gradient feature that One Wheel dropped on Firmware Friday. Custom shaping. I guess. Let's try it normal first. Okay. Yeah, so I'm trying to do this this three three uh, camera thing with the speedometer, the face view, and the. Yes, we'll start off with strength plus three. See if that makes any kind of a difference. Okay, I do notice, oh wow, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, Austin Silva. I see what you're talking, I mean, when you, sometimes when the geniuses behind creating this talk technology use their own terminology, like I can't really put together the sensation that they're explaining in words, but when you ride up, <laughs> you it, it is it's noticeable. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like the other mode um, where the nose is tilted up. Yeah, wow, it is noticeable. It is noticeable. Let's see if I, you know, if it makes a difference speed wise. Yeah, even downhill. Oh yeah, that downhill. That was that was weird. <laughs> that was intuitive it's like uh yeah it's adjusting oh yeah okay that oh yeah yeah my last video which you guys haven't seen yet is uh me eating crap on that same hill that i've already done a bunch of times and it's basically because of this exact reason at the end of the top i pitched the nose because i wanted to gain some speed and it pitched it into the hill. Oh yeah, smooth. Okay. I kind of like that for my weight. Woo. Yeah, that was fun. I like it. I don't even know if I want to mess with it anymore, but I don't know. I like it. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. I Oh, it pitches that nose up a little bit for you. Intuitive. All right, here, let's get this rock bomb. Woo! All right. Ooh, yeah. Downhill. I really notice it downhill. Describe the sensation, but it is noticeable it's like it makes it smooth and not so it's more flowy instead of slamming that tail down it kind of feathers it a little bit until until the board has time to recognize that you're going down a grade imagine that okay oh yeah and then that tail drag how it even know how to describe it but it's really it is helpful it's it's definitely worth noteworthy all right let's see if i get some speed for this rock bunk so small oh yeah right in the middle of the hill it didn't drag my nose that was nice See if the camera likes it that better facing this way. And uh let's give it a little more tweaking. 
see what works. I mean, I like it already, but so we can have a feel for the features. Responsive, slow, fast, max angle, more or less. Go one for max angle. Response, fast. Save and apply. So we got three, two, two. Plus three, strength. Plus two, response. Plus one, max angle. All right, let's go. Let's hit this again. We're gonna hit that bar. Oh, I can already kind of feel it. That's weird. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh yeah, that's really. All right, guys, let's continue this glorious ride. If you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Like, leave a comment. Tell me how you feel. Okay, yeah, oh yeah. So, okay, let's see about the downhill. Heading right into the soggy too. Oh well. Get one more of these. I have to do some more experimentation with it later, but overall, so far, thumbs up. I'd say from just testing it out from that, that little bit, I'm pretty sure A, that it's supposed to be a feature that you ride with all the time, not just when you're hitting hills. And B, um, yeah, it's, I think it's a significant, significantly impacts the ride of the board if you know what you're doing. So definitely thumbs up.